Hello my dear students, welcome to my physics class. Our today's topics are Stokes law and terminal velocity. Let's start now. Stokes law. If a body falls through a viscous medium, liquid or gas, then it drags the layers of the fluid that are in contact with the body. That is, when this sphere falls through this liquid, this body drags the layers of this liquid in contact with this body. As a result, a relative motion is created between the layers of the fluid. That is, a relative motion is created between the layers of this liquid. Therefore, a viscous force is applied on the body which tries to reduce the motion of the body. As the relative motion is created between the layers of the fluid, therefore, a viscous force is applied on this body and tries to reduce the motion of this body. That is, viscous force is opposite to the motion of this body. Stokes proved that if a sphere of radius r moves through a liquid of coefficient of viscosity eta with a velocity v, then due to the viscosity of the liquid, a force that opposes the motion of the sphere would be a physical to 6 pi eta rv. Here eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid through which the body falls and r is the radius of the sphere which is falling through the fluid and v is the velocity of the sphere that is viscous force is directly proportional to the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid and viscous force is directly proportional to the velocity of the sphere Viscous force is directly proportional to the radius of the sphere. Here, F is the viscous force. Viscous force here 6 pi constant. Viscous force F is directly proportional to the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid. F is proportional to the radius of the sphere. F is directly proportional to the velocity of the sphere. terminal velocity here a body is falling through this liquid this sphere is falling through this liquid consider the velocity of this sphere is v weight of the sphere is w and it acts in the downward direction here upward thrust that is upward force due to the buoyancy acts in the upward direction and viscous drag that is viscous force f acts in the opposite to the motion of the body that is in the downward direction weight and in upward direction upward thrust due to buoyancy and viscous force from stokes law we know viscous force is directly proportional to the velocity of the sphere initially when the sphere is at rest that is v is equal to zero viscous force is equal to zero if this sphere falls under the influence of gravitational force initially its velocity increases due to the acceleration due to 
gravity. As the velocity is increased, therefore viscous force will be increased. That is, viscous for force will be increased with increasing velocity. And at a certain time, the this weight, that is weight of the body is balanced by the upward thrust and viscous force and in this situation the body falls with a constant velocity that is there is no net acceleration on this body the body falls with a constant velocity there is no net force there is no acceleration therefore the body falls with constant velocity and this constant velocity is known as terminal velocity so you can say if a sphere falls under the influence of gravitational force through a viscous fluid initially its velocity increases and after some time it falls with a constant velocity this constant velocity of the sphere is called terminal velocity if m be the mass and r be the radius of the sphere that is m is the mass of this sphere and r is the radius of this sphere and rho f is the rho f and rho s are the densities of the fluid and sphere respectively that is rho f is the density of this fluid and rho s is the density of this solid body and here weight of the sphere w is equal to mg we know weight is equal to mg and here m we know m is equal to v into rho here v is the volume of the sphere volume 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho this is the mass of this sphere and g that is mass into g weight w is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho s into g this is the weight of this sphere and upward thrust due to the buoyancy u is equal to v rho g we know buoyancy v buoyancy is equal to v rho g this is equal to v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho f g that is upward thrust u is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho f into g rho f is the density of the fluid or liquid and viscous force f is equal to 6 pi eta rv from stroke's law we know viscous force f is equal to 6 pi eta rv this is the viscous force in upward direction there are two forces upward thrust that is buoyancy and viscous force f and in downward direction weight w if the sphere attains terminal velocity then a plus u is equal to w that is when the upward force is balanced by the downward force then the sphere falls with constant velocity that is terminal velocity if the sphere attains terminal velocity then a plus u is equal to w here f plus u is equal to w therefore here f is equal to 6 pi eta rv and u is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho fg is equal to w w is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho s into g or 6 by eta rv is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube g rho s minus rho f or v is equal to 2 r square rho s minus rho f into g divided by 9 eta 
this is the Stokes equation of terminal velocity here v is the terminal velocity r is the radius of the sphere rho s is the density of the sphere rho f is the density of the fluid z acceleration due to gravity and eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid using this equation we can determine the terminal velocity we know terminal velocity v is equal to 2 r square rho s minus rho f into z divided by 9 eta if the density of the sphere is less than the density of the fluid then the sphere will acquire an upward resultant force due to buoyancy and will move upward that is if the body is lighter than the liquid then it will move in upward direction and we know viscous force is always opposite to the motion of the body therefore viscous force acts in the downward direction that is in this case in downward direction weight and viscous force acts and in upward direction upward thrust due to buoyancy and the body moves in the upward direction that is v is in this direction in this case the viscous force f acts downwards as a result terminal velocity will be v is equal to 2 r square rho f minus rho s into z divided by 9 eta here rho s minus rho f but here rho f minus rho s that is if the density of the solid is greater than the density of the fluid then this equation but if the density of the fluid is greater than the density of the solid this equation this is the equation for the body whose density is less than the density of the fluid terminal velocity for lighter body v is equal to 2 r square rho f minus rho s into z divided by 9 eta we know it consider rho f density of water here here fluid means water and rho s density of air bubble that is air bubble is lighter than the water the density of the air bubble is less than the density of the water since the density of the air bubble is much more less than that of water that is rho s is very very less than rho f so neglecting rho s the above equation can be written as v is equal to 2 r square rho f g 9 eta here rho s is omitted because rho s is very very less than rho f mathematical problem a metal sphere of radius 200 millimeter is falling through a liquid with terminal velocity 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid is 0 0.003 kilogram per meter per second what is the viscous force of the liquid on the sphere solution here radius 200 millimeter here 200 millimeter this is equal to 0 0.2 meter here from millimeter to meter and velocity here velocity terminal velocity v is equal to 2.1 into 10 to minus 2 meter per second and here eta that is coefficient of viscosity of the liquid 0 0.003 kilogram per meter per second 0 0.003 kilogram per meter per second and we have to determine viscous force we know viscous force f is equal to 6 pi eta rv from stokes law we know it this is equal to 6 pi into eta eta means 0 0.003 and r r means radius 0 0.2 meter and here velocity terminal velocity 2.1 into 10 to the minus 2 and after calculation 2.375 
into 10 to the power minus 4 newton this is the answer it is viscous force acting on this sphere is 2.375 into 10 to the power minus 4 newton